Hello, my name is Marco Forte. Welcome to my presentation for ISEP 2021 on the paper Approximate Fast Foreground Color Estimation. The title of my presentation is Foreground Color Estimation with Blur and Fusion. So compositing, alpha mining, and foreground estimation are seeing a huge surge of applications and research. On the left, we see some video zoom backgrounds. On the center, we see mobile e-commerce. All right, we see phone mobile filters. So I want to start with the toy example. How are we going to take this red circle off the blue background and put it onto a nice white background? Seems very basic, but it's actually not often approached in the right way. First, we all understand that we need to cut out the red circle. So we could try binary segmentation. And then if we try to do a naive paste, with this binary segmentation, we obviously end up with a very ugly result. We can also understand that we need to solve for the transparency between the red circle and the blue background. This is known as alpha matting. However, if we still again do a naive paste, we end up with a terrible result. So how can foreground color estimation help? Well, foreground color estimation is a key part of the problem. We begin with the compositing equation, which splits an image into two layers, the foreground and the background, where the blend is dependent on the alpha channel. And the foreground estimation is a companion to alpha matter, where we estimate the foreground color. We need the, to extract and combine these layers to get a good quality composite. We can see that when we combine the layers with our uh, method, we achieve a much better composite without the blue seeping through. So there's many existing approaches to this. Most common is post-processing from a given alpha mat. And these are also split into non-learning based methods and learning based methods. And you can also predict jointly with the alpha mat. And those are also split into learning based and non-learning based methods. We are not going to look at the predicting jointly with the alpha map, since in many cases the alpha map is pre-provided from another source and we don't have control over this procedure. And also we choose not to look at learning based methods since they require large data sets and CNN training in many modern cases. What we choose to look at here is an interesting work from Germer et al on fast multi-level foreground estimation. This work sped up previous foreground estimation work from ANAT11, which was very effective, but quite slow in its basic form. This is a slide from Germer's presentation. And we can see that they develop cost function dependent on adherence to the compositing equation and spatial smoothness, and a number of regularization and weight terms. And then they solve this using a multi-level estimation approach. Well, we were curious about if there was a simpler way. So we decided to try to get rid of the regularization term and the weight term. And we also do not consider difference of the current and neighboring alpha values. Instead, we only consider the magnitude of the neighboring values. Our cost function and solution is as follows. We have the adherence to the compositing equation and we have spatial smoothness. And our solution, we solve for the smoothness first by doing a blur. And then we solve for the compositing second by doing a fusion. Here is a visual example. So we have a teddy bear and an alpha mat provided to us from another matting algorithm. We first do our blur step, and these are the intermediate results. And then we do the fusion. And this is our result. And you can see that compared to the naive approach, there is no blue background seeping through. And the full details of this and the uh, derivation of the mathematics is in our paper. And we can see that visually we're very competitive with existing approaches, even though we have a much simpler way of doing things. Um, if you look at the closed form and the multi-level method, they both achieve very accurate results, but also ours is just as good in this case. Well, we can look at the quantitative foreground accuracy in terms of mean squared error and some other metrics. And we can see that 
when we are given a ground truth alpha, that's completely perfect. The other methods actually perform quite better than ours, but ours will still vastly outperform the baseline. However, when our method will perform on par with the previous approaches when we are in a more realistic scenario of being fed an imperfect estimated alpha map. And we can see that in some cases, our approach will outperform the others. Our approach is very fast and very simple. We can see that we have um, less than a third of the runtime of multi-level method. And we can also implement it in 11 lines of Python code. There is a limitation of our method in that the radius of the blur can be quite dependent on the image. Now in images where there's a very wide foreground region, we would actually sometimes prefer a large radius of blur. And we can see that in this image here of the two trolls, when we plot the accuracy versus the blur radius. And for the default accuracy, which we use for all our experiments of 90, we actually get quite a poor result where the green background is seeping through where there should be pink hair. However, if we increase the radius to 900, we get a much better result. And we find that if you implement this in a user application, the experience is quite nice to um, manually find the correct blur radius for yourself. And we demonstrate that here, the implementation on iOS app running on the mobile GPU. It's extremely fast and performs um, quite well at removing any blue background. So thanks very much for attending the talk. The code is available on GitHub and I'm super happy to take any questions.